Hello everyone, this is Chris Eberly, an engineer at Plexum. Welcome to the Plex Bottle of the Month video series. In this month's video, I will discuss a novel Z-source inverter topology. The model has been developed by Jing Yuan during his PhD studies at Aalborg University in Denmark. I will first introduce the Z-source inverter, which was proposed in 2003 by Professor Fong Peng at Michigan State University. Traditional voltage source inverters require an additional DC to DC converter stage to achieve a higher output voltage than what is available at the input, which leads to decreased system efficiency and increased system cost. The Z source inverter uses an impedance network entailing a split inductor and capacitors connected in an X shape to couple the converter to the source. The additional passive components allow for overdrive with minimal added cost or complexity. Other benefits of this approach are numerous. The Z-source can be utilized interchangeably with both voltage and current sources, but also bidirectionally to interface to a load or another converter. Further, they provide a buck boost capability for step up or step down voltage conversion. The impedance network provides a second order filter, which reduces the sizing requirements for the passives as compared to traditional inverters shoot-through and open circuit conditions that would be problematic in voltage and current source inverters are allowed with the Z-source inverter. This means that additional control states are possible and reliability concerns due to the susceptibility to EMI noise are also mitigated. After the original Z-source inverter was introduced, various modifications of the topology were also proposed, including switched inductor, extended boost, and embedded Z-source inverters. In this model, Jing Yuan proposes an embedded enhanced boost Z-source inverter that includes two symmetrical Z-source networks with embedded DC sources. The operating principle of this topology is the same as a conventional Z-source inverter in that there are non-shoot-through states where neither or only one device in each leg is conducting and shoot-through states where both devices can be on at the same time. The additional benefits that this proposed topology bring are continuous DC source currents, which are normally chopped during shoot-through operation in traditional Z-source inverters, and an increased boost factor, which can reduce device voltage stresses on switches and capacitors. Here is Jing's Plex model. Moving from left to right, I will briefly discuss the circuit. I first want to point out that the DC sources are embedded into a symmetrical impedance network. These sources can be, for example, PV panels, where the available voltage can vary widely. We also see the traditional split inductor and capacitor pair of the classic Z-source inverter, as indicated by the X shape. It should be mentioned that diagonal wires cannot be made in flex, but here a trick has been done whereby a subsystem contains the true crisscrossing wires, but the mask icon is drawn to look like an X. Back at the top level, the enhanced part of this proposed topology name refers to this additional capacitor and inductor pair on each side, as well as the added diodes to prevent reverse currents. These components help to increase the voltage boost capability of the converter. The total DC voltage is fixed for this simulation at 40 volts. The impedance network is then directly interfaced to a two-level three-phase inverter that generates 60 Hz sinusoidal currents. The inverter switches are modulated with an open loop control scheme with a classical sinusoidal PWM technique and switching frequency of 10 kHz. With a modulation index of 80%, which gives a duty cycle of 20%, the derived equations in the reference show that the DC link voltage is boosted to 154 volts. In this case, we can see peak output currents of approximately 4 and 6 amps are achieved before and after a step in the modulation set point, respectively. The inductor currents increase when the DC link voltage remains zero during the shoot-through states, and the result is that the DC currents are continuous, as seen in this scope. In case you want to learn more about this proposed topology, the reference and author's contact information is available below. I hope you enjoyed this video on a modified Z-source inverter modeled in Plex. If you have a Plex model you're willing to share, Send it to info at plexum.com with the description of the power stage and controller. If your model gets picked, we will make a video of it and post it to our LinkedIn and YouTube pages while publicly crediting your work.
For more videos and other information, please visit our website at www.plexum.com. Thanks for watching.